Hey Drew, my name is Monacy, and I have been seeing these beautiful weathered vases everywhere in store. And unfortunately, they cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, which is insane. So I was wondering if you know how I can make one of those weathered vases at home for a fraction of the price. Thanks, Drew. Here to help with Monacy's design dilemma is celebrity interior designer and Drew crew member, it's Macau Welch. Hello. Um, Mikkel, yeah. can you just list a few of the clients that you've worked with? Um, Michelle Obama, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Tyler Perry, uh, Steve Harvey. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and if you open a veranda, an architectural digest, a house beautiful, an El Decor, all of my favorite magazines in the world, Mikkel is right there front and center. And it's always an honor to work with someone who is as esteemed as you are. Oh, thank because you. sometimes when I do look in those magazines, I'll look at the prices of things and <laughs> I get sticker shock. I do too. I do too. But luckily I started off as a set decorator, so I know the hacks. Okay, so yes. I love when you give us budget-friendly DIY approaches because that's something we can all buy into. Absolutely. And these weathered vases yep. are like all the rage. So how do we do this, Mikhail? All right, so let's jump right into it. So I've started out, everybody knows I love like Craigslist, thrift stores, etc. I've started out with a very inexpensive vase. The next thing that you want to do is take your paintbrush and you just want to give your vase a nice coat of textured paint. Now here's the fun thing, Drew. You don't have to like be a Picasso. Like honestly, you can just go random with it and just like have your way, go all a bit around and just keep going. And what's gonna end up happening is you've got this kind of like loosely layered light paint that goes all across the top of this piece here. So now, your vase should start to look like this as it begins to dry. Mm -hmm. um, so now you can go ahead and put that one down. Okay. I'm gonna put, show you the next piece. All right, so now we're gonna get a little dirty. So this is literally like no money at all. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna grab a scoop of dirt and literally mix it with a little bit of water. Now bear with me on this one, but we are going to take clumps of the dirt and we are going to begin. Pack it on. Pack it on, and you wanna go right onto those painted surfaces. So here, so here's the thing with it. Don't go super crazy, right? I don't want you to have like a full like layer of this, like it's all caked up, mm -hmm. but just go really. Girl, what are you over there doing? I, I. Oh, you, we'll get there, we'll get there, you we'll know, get there. You know me, Mikkel. I mean, literally, I'm like this with everything. It's like, I'm a lot, you know? <laughs> I, I don't well, I'm going to be your design therapist. I'm going to help you pull back a little bit. So I'm going to say that you can go ahead and place that down for a second. Wipe I'm your hands off. So once we allow the, the piece to dry, this is what the beauty will look like. Now, keep this in mind. As you're allowing the piece to dry, what you slowly want to do is you begin to remove off some of the dirt. And you want to go really slow. What's gonna happen is over time, as it's beginning to dry, the layers will start to peel off and then they will have that smooth patina that you want. Well, it's kind of like a textured smooth patina. So it's sort of in a weird way like sponge paint, but yes. with er dirt and earth. Exactly, like Joanna There's Gaines does it, Studio <gasps> McGee does it. They all do it and it's like more expensive. But if don't... Joanna Gaines does it, I am into it. Exactly, exactly. Look at that. There's... I mean. There's no bigger girl crush I have than Miss Joanna Gaines. And so now you can put your foliage like right into the vase and make a little arrangement. Ooh, and it's I super am cute. feeling this. Super cute. I think this is so beautiful. I mean, and this, you know, other than my approach was very easy. <laughs> Um, I, I, I love this look. I love it. Mikkel, um, we'll have these DIY instructions for your own weathered vase on the Drew Barrymore Show.com.